So let's create another action and this one will be for getting an album for a band. So we will get a single album for a single band. So it's going to be HTTP get, but remember our URI is API slash bands and then slash band ID slash albums. But here we also need to pass in the album ID since we are returning a single album for this ID. So at the end we will add album ID and we need to place it in curly braces. So the URI for this call will end with album ID. So after albums there will be slash and then album ID that we pass over here. So let's create the action and this action will return a single DTO object. So again it can be an action result of type album DTO. And I'll call it get album for band. And we need to pass in two IDs. One is for the band and one is for the album. So it's gonna be a GUID for band ID and another GUID that's gonna be for the album ID. Let me just move this so it's all in one line. And remember Album ID needs to be named the same as is the argument in the URI. So we need to check if the band exists. So we'll do any statement and check if in our repository that ID is valid or not. So we'll go to band album repository and then call the band exists method. And we pass in the band ID to it. And if it doesn't exist, we return not found. If it does exist, we also need to check the album ID, but we don't have to call the album exists method because we will be using the album afterwards. So we can just get the album and then check if it's null. So let's create a variable and I'll call it album from repo and we'll go to our repository and we'll get the album. And we are getting album for a specific ID. It needs the band ID as well as the album ID. And we know the band ID is valid at this point and we will pass in the album ID. And if the album ID is not valid, then album from repo will be null. So we can do a null check. We'll do an if statement and check if our album from repo equals null. And if it is, then we will return not found. And if everything checks out, we can return the mapped album DTO to our entity album from repo. So we'll do a return statement and return OK. And we'll go to our mapper, create the map. And the map is for our album DTO. And the source, of course, is going to be the album from repo. All right, so let's run this and see if it works. All right, so this is my URI from the previous example. It ends with albums and we will pass in the album ID. So I'm just gonna copy this one and paste it right there. And let's send this. And we get back the single album for the band ABBA. This is the same album we got back when we got all the albums for the same band. But since the band only has one album in our database, now we're getting it as a single album. And the difference is in the JSON itself. You can see we have the curly braces here, which indicates a single resource. Before we had these curly braces as well, however they were wrapped in brackets and the brackets indicate that this is an array or a collection. So now we got a single album for the band. So now let's try to use non-existing band. So I'll change the ID to a non-existing ID. Let's send this and we get not found and that is correct. Now let's do the band that exists but 
the album ID that doesn't exist. Now let's send this and again we get not found. So only if the ID for the band and the ID for the album exist then we get back the correct result and 200 OK. So this is working correctly. Next let's have a look at what happens if our API throws an exception. 